Hey everyone, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be an at-home manicure. So we'll have a little spa time together. So I have all my tools ready for you and this is the final result. So I'm basically talking you through how I would do my manicure at home and I hope it will be easy to follow and if you would like to learn how then please keep watching. Alright, so let's jump right in. I have my bowl with warm water that will help me to soften the skin around my nails and will help me to remove this part which is the cuticle later on. I already cut my nails and I'm using this broad file to file the edges but I'm also having a smaller file. This is a glass file by Essie and that can just help me to fine file anything that couldn't be filed before. So now moving on, I can use my cuticle remover. This is just like a nail polish that you can apply on top of your cuticle. You can shortly remove it afterwards and then you can either push back your cuticle carefully with a wooden stick like this or you can also remove it with a tool that looks like a scissor but it's not as pointy or sharp as one. So there we go. And you just want to try to carefully take off bits and pieces of your cuticle to get a great result to have a nail that is perfectly prepared for the nail polish. So after my nails are prepped, I can then move on to some nail oil. This will help me to keep my nails and the skin around it nice and smooth and will help protect the nails and the skin around for the fall and winter time. Before applying my nail polish I'm using a clear coat as a thin layer underneath. The color that I chose for this tutorial is a beautiful fall winter color called Merino Cool by Essie. I have three colors right now that I really really love. This is the one. And then there's also one from L'Oreal, Red Toad, and the other one from Essie called Wicked. So I'm using Merino Cool. I'm trying to warm the nail polish between my hands so that it will be easier to apply. And then I'm just going to start right in the middle. I'm basically pushing up the nail polish right to where my cuticle was. And then I'm dragging it down, keeping a little bit of a gap on the side to create the perfect ideal oval shape of a nail. So this is how it's going to look like. And I can then again use this little pointy end of my wooden stick and put some cotton pads on it and some Sally Hansen nail polish remover. And I can then remove some of the nail polish that went abroad and I would just do that on both hands and I will show you the final result now. Alright you guys, so this is how I'm doing my manicure at home usually. Just a quick shout out to two more products that I've been using for more than a year right now. So when the fall and winter time starts, my hands usually get drier and I want to treat them well for the cold season of the year. So I'm usually exfoliating my hands every week or every two weeks. So I'm just using a very gentle scrub that you could even use for your face or body. I'm using the one by SCORE. SCORE is a Canadian based brand actually from Vancouver and this scrub is just really great because it's very gentle, it has tiny beads and the smell is just great as well. So I've been using this for over a year now and I use it for my face, I can use it for my body and it's really really good and gentle for your hands as well. And then for the hand cream I've been using the hemp hand protector by the body shop so this hand cream is just amazing it is for very dry skin 
you only need a tiny amount and I've been very very happy with it it is on the um, pricier side so this is uh, 100 milliliters for $20 but they do have some deals once in a while where you can buy one for 10 or if you have the body shop um, points card or whatever it's called um, you can always save like I think 10% or something but they usually have deals going on where you could save some money but this is definitely one of my favorite 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 hand creams and I can only recommend this the only thing that I don't like about it is the smell so if you love creams with perfume or you need to have a really good smell then this is probably not the right one but this just treats your hands really really well throughout the year but especially for the fall season and winter you would you know kind of choose an ointment that really protects your skin so yes I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I will have many many more videos coming up and if you want to suggest anything that you would like to see then please comment below and until next time I hope I see you guys soon bye